Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here at Cadence's R&D site in Noida, India, to talk to my colleague Pradeep Goyal about formal expert techniques. So Pradeep, this is your area of expertise. What can you tell me that customers are asking about today? Yeah, so basically I would divide uh, customers into two broad categories mm -hmm. uh, at the expert level. So uh, one category is those uh, who know the design and formal techniques as well. And they are ready to change the design as and when required. Okay. Second category of customers are those uh, who know the formal techniques, but either they have little knowledge about the designs or they don't want to change the designs. Mm -hmm. So this is the one category of customers who are asking lots of things from the tool itself. For example, they would like to go for abstractions, memories, ex counters, memories, FIFOs, etc. And they would like other expert level capabilities in the tool. For those customers who are willing to change the design as well, and they are expert in formal, they will do all sorts of manual techniques to change the design. And for them, maybe our tool does not matter. Any tool can work for them. So can you give me an example? What, what exactly would cause you to, what, to change your design? I mean, what, what's so worth it that formal can provide you such a benefit? Yeah, for example, in some cases, your state bits are like a lots of, there are lots of state bits in your design. And there are memories and FIFOs and counters. So you don't care about those, count all the counter values or the memories uh, locations. So in those cases, you'd like to reduce those complexities uh, and try to help formal tool in order to provide conclusive results. Interesting. Um, now tell me, if you look like five years in the future, or even just a couple of years, what do you think, you know, how is expert technology is going to evolve and, and perhaps even involve maybe some of the simulation and mix capabilities as well? Yeah, first of all, there is lots of improvement uh, that can be done in formal techniques themselves. Mm -hmm. So none of the, uh, either cadence or the competition, they are at a level where we can say that we have all the expert level techniques in place. So there's still more algorithms to come, more Absolutely. optimizations, right? Absolutely. There are lots of techniques that can uh, come into play. Right now, there are lots of manual techniques that are done by the customers. And maybe the formal tools can help a lot in order to semi-automate or fully automate those techniques. Right. Uh, even after that, the formal technique itself has a capacity limitation. It's not that all the designs can be uh, consumed by formal verification itself. So somehow it has to combine with the simulation techniques. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cadence is already taking steps in the direction of how formal verification and simulation can be combined to leverage the best of the results. And I think that would be the way to go uh, in the next five to six years. Indeed. Well, hey, thank you, Pradeep, for sharing your insights. Thank you very much.